uh, Mel Phillips for a moment. He got kind of ensnared in the troubles that would uh, come to light in years, uh, a few years from then. I think '92 was when all the, the, the sex scandal stuff started coming out, and that uh, his affinity for feet. Yeah, I, I heard about Never it. yours, I guess. No, I, my feet are ugly, I guess, but... I and and not on a 15-year-old <laughs> either. Yeah, so I, I, um, yeah, it was really a fun, it was just kind of like a joke. I, re, I never really believed it's, that uh, someone that would actually like sucking toes unless it was some playboy playmate or something, you know, uh, but I heard that about Mel Phillips, and um, you hear a lot of strange things, you know, a lot of strange things that happen with the Ring Boys and stuff like that. <laughs> Had you, before we heard about this, being the general public in 92, was this always just kind of the joke, like, eh, yeah, Mel Phillips, the foot guy? So yeah. This no, was something that was known? No one cared, you know, I mean, he wants to suck toes, let him, you know. <laughs> Nobody cared. But all of a sudden now, now, you know, nowadays everybody cares about everything. They care, you know, they care that they, they just the media loves any kind of scandal, and and I and I, that goes right along with our business of wrestling. Well, they I think it, any it, kind it, of in scandal. fairness, I think the problem is that some of the kids were were, were quite young, right, or maybe fourteen. Yeah, I did hear that, and and uh, yeah, there, there's definitely a big problem with that, and I I think before that. He was getting away with it because maybe the kids weren't that young, but then mm -hmm. he, he got some younger kids. And